Neil, it finished one all in the 90 minutes. Defeat on penalties, but another workout for your side this Yeah, no, we, we, you know, we just said in there that we knew this would be the toughest game out of all of them. A uh, very strong Dulwich side, you know, they train full time as well, so it was always going to be difficult. Some ex players coming back as well. So, no, it was a really good workout for us, you know, first half. Um, I thought we created really well, a couple of goals disallowed and everything else, but um, overall, most of the team got their 90 minutes. Great to have Rico back. Webster got off the mark as well. Harry, another game with us, so loads of positives to take for you know this last week and into the season. And uh, an incredible performance for Harry Forster this afternoon. He looks really comfortable and settling in really well. Yeah, he's settled in great. You know, like I said, these these games are more physical, more you know tempo to him than, than the 23 games. So he's still got a lot of way to go. He's got another week to get that sharpness back. Same with Coulson. I thought Luke Coulson. You know, he's, he's, he's getting fitter and fitter every week. Um, I was really pleased with him. I thought, I thought Frankie and Billy look, look back to normal. Willow having a couple of chances. I thought the back four were very, very strong today. And you mentioned Rico as well. Good to see him back and getting some minutes under his belt. Yeah, no, how, how mad it is that we've got to try and get him up to speed to our players. And, um, you know, he'll, he'll get sharper. He'll get better. You know, he come inside, got the shot off, had a couple of uh, nice runs. And it's good to have him back. And more strength and depth, it seems, this year. Obviously, you brought James Alarby on from the bench. A great player to be bringing on to a match. Oh, you know, on, on the windy conditions, you know, we're against the wind. He was bringing it down, holding people off. And, you know, had the one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And, uh, again, you know, he's, he's another option for us. We've got some boys. We've got Trotz coming back as well. He'll be, he'll be back with us uh, hopefully next week as well. So there, we there is competition. And I've just said to the boys, you know, there's another game on Tuesday behind closed doors. And, uh, you know, everyone can state a claim for the start of the season. And it's the third consecutive year this game's gone to penalties. Should we just go straight to penalties next I think year? we should waste all the 90 <laughs> minutes, go straight to penalties. I think if we have it at their place, we win. If we have play here, they win. But no, it's, it's, it's really good. You know, Dulwich, are, are, you know, and, and Gavin and, and Cads have done a tremendous job at that club. You know, we have got that relationship with them. Um, but, you know, I was more concerned with the 90 minutes than I were the penalties. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a great 90 minutes for us. And, and you know, time's now running out. We're fitter than we, we've got another week to go and get even sharper, ready for that start of the season, hopefully. And it's never just a normal pre-season game, this one, is it? It's a, about a very special man, Glyn Beverly, who we remember very fondly. Listen, the, the guy, I've, I've said it, you know, he, um, he backed me all the way. You know, he was always there for us, support. He was always a phone call away on a, on a Sunday morning, win or lose, keep your head up, keep going. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've only got, you know, the utmost respect for him. So that's what I'm saying. You know, when, when you play these games and you've got that stand there, um, he's, he's sadly missed. But, uh, you know, he lives in our memories. And as long as he does, he still lives with us. Very nice, Neil. Thank you. Thank you.